early game, have big spike in mid game, and dominate in team fights in the late game. Like, that's what you expect. You do not expect that LeBlanc to dominate late game fights unless she's fed out of control. If she is not fed out of control, then LeBlanc will not be dominating fights, and that is a weakness in LeBlanc's kit. She doesn't have the impact in team fights that Syndra has when they have the same amount of gold. So, I mean, it's not exactly a fair comparison. When you're comparing two of the same style of champion, that's one thing. But again, LeBlanc is an assassin. Zoe, Zoe would be considered a mage, I think, an artillery mage. It's kind of hard to tell. I do agree that her damage is a little bit over the top. And her kid doesn't really give too much wiggle room around avoiding that damage. If she ever lands the bubble, you're fucked. If she lands a Q, you're going to lose a lot of health. And both of those are skill shots that aren't the hardest thing to land in post six when you can actually jump forward. Uh, well, then, and that's roughly when the damage really skyrockets. So I can see the frustration with laning against Zoe. I just find it weird that she is one of the problem champions, but that's mostly because I don't lane against her. Hardly play mid, so I never see him. And hey there, Big Dong, how are you doing? I just know they said earlier that Zachary Burke is entirely on you, Mage. She will take the gas in the Keep in mind, I actually did go to Riot HQ when they were reworking Zach before they released him on the PBE and tried him out. The problem was that that little testing thing they did with me was was a terrible way to actually assess Zach and his state. Because the problem is the people they invited in were 10 jungle Zach and Sejuani mains. They brought in enough Zach and Sejuani mains to fill two five man teams. And I think I was the only one of them who was in diamond. I was probably the only one in the room there who was plat or above. And it meant that when I was playing a Zack versus these guys, I was having such an easy time. I thought, ah, this Zack seems good. Oh, wait, I don't want that. Um, that would have been bad. Zack seems good. He looks like he could be fun. I think this rework is going to work. Obviously, once he hit live and I actually played against people of my own ELO, I noticed all the weaknesses he has, and he has a lot of them. These guys would be crazy if they actually tried to do that again. I'd rather just go and ensure my red buff is coming. Oh, we have a support Anivia? That's odd. Very unusual. Glad he's here. That'll ensure that nobody sneaks in. So I think I'm going to do red buff into this camp, into crab, into blue buff. Now that's what I call a leash. That was a beautiful leash. Very nice. Oh god. Got to take that off. On quick cast. I did just play Zach, so that would be the case. Alrighty. Let me head over here and grab this crab. I don't want to challenge Lee for a crab that would be very dangerous. Early on, Lee should be beating me. He's dead. Oh, you don't need my help at all! Well then.
You're going so fast, buddy. Where are you going so fast? Easy peasy. See, that's how you gank, friends. You wait for the right moment, you go for it. Eat. I don't have any wards right now, which gets me a little sketched out. Looks like I should be fine. This thing. That that shouldn't be me being sick. All right, good. I should have probably helped them shove it all the way in, but this is fine. I left a ghost poro for him, so it gives him some vision to be safe against the Lee. And not bad. A very good start for us. And the team's doing well. Our bot lane already has a kill. <laughs> That's right. Our top lane got a kill before I even showed it. I'll just finish up my jungle here real quick. It really isn't that hard to be a competent jungler. It is hard to be an expert jungler. The learning curve is massive. But the thing is, to be a decent jungler, you just need to follow the principles. Farm. Gank. Group. You follow those three principles, you'll be doing okay. Preferably, I mean, there's obviously a lot more nuance to that, but... Uh, that. I, actually should, I, do. Please. I will need that eventually for a war box. Feels bad, man. Not enough mana for a kill. Oh, wait, what? At least since skulking around my jungle. making sure. I don't want him wandering through my jungle. I also don't want their mid lane wandering through my jungle. Oh, it's a Vlad, so I don't think... It's very unlikely he'll be roaming anytime soon, but a Vlad gank is pretty scary. Wee. Yeah, there's a pink ward there. I do have these. That's right. Uh, no. That's too bad. his weakness. Yes, Zed has said that, hasn't he? Probably not his most memorable line, but yes. Also, I really should have smited the Rakan at the beginning. Probably would have killed him. It was a stupid smite at the end. Really, Audrey? I heard that. I heard the ka 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 Now, do you need to stop inviting Birdman over? Oh dear, our top side. Yep, Vlad does like to dive, doesn't he? Yeah, he did try to ping, but it would have been much better if he simply rotated and had his ult ready. That probably would have been much better. Even if it meant giving up some farm. Just making sure. Easy 
too quickly. Quinn is a ridiculous champion if you know how to play her right. Her roaming capability is probably the best of almost any champion. Like, TF has a better roam instantly. Same with Galio, but... on kills? We got this, man. Urgot and Darius? Who can fucking stop a tower dive against these two? So far, though, Leeson has literally done nothing. He's just been farming. He's been out farming, sure, but, well. Uh, and Urgot should not be out ganking a Leeson. But you notice, I'm ganking. Which is something the Leeson doesn't appear to be doing. I haven't actually seen him on the map. It's a good opportunity to go back. I think I have just about enough money. Yep. Just enough to get the cinder. But yeah, so far I've ganked for our bot lane and I've ganked for our top lane a few times, so... Already, I feel like I've ganked more than that Evelyn did last game, while also keeping parity in farm. I'm behind, but not by much, and the fact that we're almost the same XP... Okay, the least in game is a failure. Good. Let's see if I can make a good gank in mid lane. Or probably bot lane. Bot lane's more likely. Got you! No! I almost got him. I had I had him in my mouth. Flipping him was a mistake though, because it put me in a bad position to get kicked. That was a mistake, but god damn it. If I had smited him earlier, I think I would have killed him. It would have reduced the damage I took and would have increased the damage I dealt. I think I would have killed him if I smited him earlier. I'm see, this is the problem with me not being a jungle man. Like if I were, I would have smited him immediately. I would have killed him there. Because I'm not, well, I fucked up. And that's too bad. Especially because the galley did not kill the Vlad. Or did he? Wait, did he kill him? Was I not paying any attention? Oh my god, what is this Jax doing? What is this Jax doing? I'll go red buff then. I'll get red buff and then see if I can head bot side. Ah, well, did get summoners. Be 
able to kill him. Nowhere near enough damage. But you do. Cool. That was actually enough damage. I'm very surprised. If you don't mind, I'm gonna leave now. Gotta go collect my blue. Uh, don't die, please. <gasps> He's not gonna die! He's not gonna die! Nice! By the way, I'm petting my cat at this moment. So if you do see me leaning over to the side, it's because I'm petting my cat while also playing League of Legends at the same time. Jax, don't even think about eating brownies food. I'm watching you, Jax. Brownie, get him. Brownie, he's eating your food. Go get him. He's not. Okay. Don't get him, Brownie. It's okay. I guess. Oh, never mind. He's, he got scared from the lawnmowers outside. Did you not see him just run by? Wait, you got Tower for his blood and sacrificed your life for it? Worth. Of all the people you spawn a Rift Herald against, you spawn it against me. Idiot. Well, that's a wasted Rift Herald, and yes, Urgot can interrupt a Rift Herald charge. Which is why I said... Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he was... What an idiot! What is this Jax doing? I love it. I love doing that. <laughs> Oh my god, our Galio was 4 and 1. He wasn't doing anything for a long time. Where did he pick up all those kills? Very confused. I know he grabbed that Vlad kill, which was mostly me. He just showed up towards the end and claimed credit. Hi there. Ow. That was annoying. Thankfully, I do have potions, and now she doesn't have her ult. You're dead. You're dead, buddy. You dead. I'm afraid the chains will wait for you. The chains wait. I just scared off his reinforcements. He dashed forward hoping somebody was going to be behind him, but... Can I? That's okay, we got her flash. Acceptable. It would be over. Oh shit, we all did. Well, that teleport was nasty. Right in the asshole. The Galio ult, you dead. 
and they should be able to kill at least all of them. They're killing all of them. Nice cleanup. Nice cleanup. Oh, nice fucking cleanup. Killed four of them nicely. Done. <laughs> Yes, payback is sweet indeed. I wasn't figuring that the Darius Galio combination was going to be doing the cleanup, but... Oh, did they do the cleanup. The funny part is you still see our top tower right now. Yeah. That shouldn't be alive right now. Ooh, that dragon. I want that dragon. Stop me, I'll take it for free. I mean, we got a ton of vision. Oh, he's moving. This might 720 easily really steal this from me. Whoa. Cool, we just got a free mountain. I'll take that. I will always take a free mountain. Or I'm a mountain engineer. Mine. Oops. Lucky I missed my E. Nice! Interrupt! Mine! Into my- Oh! I got a good fear off. But I died? That's confusing. I got a really- Okay, now it's just- Oh! It's one dead. Yeah, it's probably gonna be more. Yeah, he's got- uh, Does he have ghosts? No, he doesn't. His ghost is on cooldown. Dang. It just came up! Ah, uh, that would have been another kill, I think. Oh, well. Hmm. Really should upgrade my boots later. I'm gonna go kill the Jinx. I have a funny feeling he's gonna try and fight me if I did try and go one on one against him. I should be able to smush him. I've got two and nearly three items completed. He only has one and. Nah, he left. Dang. That's too bad. Mel Gibson's golden ears. <laughs> Funny, yeah. Though I did personally like Braveheart, although the ending was really dumb. Like, really, really dumb. And apparently not factually accurate in any way, shape, or form. We should go murder him. This looks like more fun. We lost the tower, but we picked up two kills. I'd consider that a worthwhile venture. Oh. 
And he got another tower and probably a kill. Kill it. Easy. Good God, at this point, when Darius gets to this point, no champion can really 1v1 him. Even Jax. Darius is sick. And keep in mind that Darius is also up almost a full item on him. I think after that kill, he will be up a full item on him. Poor, poor Jax. You did not pick wisely. Because unlike Urgot, um, Darius, I think, shits on Jax the entirety of the game. Urgot only shits on him early. There comes a point where Jax can shit on me back. I don't think it's true with Darius. Once a Darius gets a lead in that lane, I think it's just GG. At that point, you must suffer. Atone for your sins. Through death. Uh, I've got enough for war mods, but I'm at full health, so and it seems pointless to do that. Dump the ghost for him. Oh, he knows. He's screwed. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, come on, you piece of shit. Yes! That's right, get chased down! Run down! Ugh! God, I love it. I fucked that up, though. I thought the Leeson was actually gonna walk up. He actually did go for the camp. And then, well... That big ass shield. I didn't even take a point of damage. Because at this point in the game, I got a lot. That's, Jesus, that's 3,400 almost. Level 14 with this much health is a lot. We got another turn. We are we're thoroughly um, dismantling their team. Double their kills, double the objectives. I've gotten enough blue buffs. Waste it. And now we head towards the Baron area, because for some reason they're all lined up over there. Wow, how is our Anivia just fending for herself as crazy? I want to actually drop vision. I don't like being blind. Yep, both Darius and Alawi have that same sort of feel to them. I agree. You're going to follow through on that? Follow your heart, Lee. Go for that kick. Are you guys gonna get two kills? You guys are. Vicious. Fucking vicious. Good eye on the Galio seeing that opportunity and going for it. <laughs> that poor Lee Sin. Oh, what were you thinking? He was obviously thinking that Darius is low. If I can get a kick on him, we got Just flaming and grief. Oh, a little more. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for ulting. That was fucking perfect. Our ults combo. Did you know that? They really shouldn't. <laughs> Our ults are not meant to combo, but they did combo there. He's dead. Wow. Oh, I guess that's game. Holy crap. 935. That's what I call an ex. Oh, 
Oh, he was going to kick me into the... Oh, you poor guy. You got interrupted. If the game only lasted a second longer, I would have died. Probably. Hard to say. There's a chance the laser would just bounce off my thick shell. There's a chance. Well done on the Dunkening. That was very nice. You really shut down that Jax hard. And isn't it nice? Unlike the Evelyn from last game, I ganked for you. Wasn't that awesome? And the funny part about this Lee Sin was I outganked him early. Oh. oh, what is that disgusting damage you threw around? But yeah, like, this is wrong. Like, when I have four kills before the Lee Sin has... Actually, I don't know if he had no kills at that point. I know I had two kills when he had nothing. But, like, I end the game 9-3-5. He ends the game 6-6-3. Six, six, Their top lane went 2 and 10 despite being the aggressor and having an early advantage, he just got outplayed. But, like, the way the Jax was playing could have gone his way if he got some jungle up. Granted, he was also the one pushing, dear God, 935, 13 2 5. Oh, yeah. So the Darius got magic at work. <laughs> 